Hello guys, welcome back. Previously we talked about records timestamp and in this tutorial we are going to look at records soft delete. So what we have to explain what record soft delete means. I'm talking about this one. What it does is <coughs> it prevents anybody from deleting a record and again it makes a record looks like it has been deleted. So how does a record looks like it has been deleted? If we don't see this record again, then we have this mindset that we've deleted it, but actually is not deleted. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So first of all, we have to enable it. So we want to enable it on products because we are using products as kind of a test table. So we enable it, we select products and we enable it here. Now it's going to create two fields for us. Just like how this one creates two fields for us, which is the date created and date updated. This one is going to create two tables. Number one table is the date, the, the, the is going to create two fields. The first field is more like timestamp. It's going to create um a field where um, they will store the date it was created it was deleted so if you delete a record they are going to save it there oh you deleted this record on this date and the next the other t or the other field that will be created for you is the one they are going to use as a flagging kind of a flag or an indicator to show that this record was deleted all right so what indicates that a record has been deleted is the value that is deleted flag value so they use one but we are going to change it so the the, the delete flag name is um delete is delete okay let's leave it like that is delete and the flag value will be true is delete the value is true okay then deleted Oh my god then deleted at field name okay kind of the timestamp let's call this thing deleted date i think the other one is nicer date deleted i think it's good to have it date deleted and it's okay like this so let's hit okay and let's preview and see well you notice nothing but there is already something Come over to this um, page products and look at these two fields is deleted and date deleted. So we'll, let's make them visible and let's preview it. So you can see it here date deleted is deleted is nothing. So let me edit this thing and let me uh, let's go back so that we can be able to edit it. Um, date deleted we can edit it. date deleted we can call this one uh well let me let, let's let's try let's try our hands on one of it so that we'll see how it works so let me delete this one we click on delete and we hit delete as you can see record deleted successfully well it wasn't deleted um what goes on here is that the delete function has been changed instead of um, um executing the sql delete function what it does is it rather becomes an update it's going to update that record we we want to delete it's going to update it with something and that's uh, what i'm going to show you here so let me use this guy as an example let's edit this one let me come over here and go to edit product edit and enable these two fields we want to be able to edit them by ourselves date um date deleted we want it to be um default value to be date and time now all right so we preview this then and over here we have these two records so we have this should be date date and time default value why right date deleted default value should be date and time
my god still not picking whatever all right so let, let's try to remember that our flag we gave here is true so let's try to add that flag here is deleted let's type true and over here the date doesn't want to pick what but let's update it as you can see the record seems to be deleted but it's, it wasn't deleted it's just that we updated it and the most important thing there is the flag value not actually the date deleted it's the flag value that does the function so let's come over here again and remove this um, disable this um, soft delete thing and let's preview it so those records are there they are not actually deleted just that the flag true was added to them okay so thank you guys so much for being part of let's enable it again let's let me let me enable it and let's try to preview it so it seems like it's off but it's actually there okay it's actually there you can't edit it but because it's been assumed deleted all right so um i want to say thank you for being part of this tutorial and i'll catch you guys in the next one when you disable this thing you will still be able to view your records you will view them completely so thank you so much for for your time and everything